Alan Babic, 7-0. Seven knockouts. You said you do it in one or two. It did take you three rounds, but three bad, rounds. bad intentions as always from the first bell. I thought it was two. Three, I believe. It's <laughs> bad news, brother, for me. <laughs> it's the third time I went into the third round, but it's good. It was only like half a minute, probably. But yeah, all kudos to Damian Chambers. You know, I love him. You know, he's such a tough guy because I have a knockout punch that knocks out people of 130 kilos. He was like 89 and he took those shots. Well, boy, I was like, what, what is this guy made of, you know? So I love Damian Chambers. That's why I didn't do any trash talk. They all asked me, but listen, the guy took a fight six day notice against the Savage, you know, and he saw my knockouts. So I have nothing but respect for the guy. You know, I never know going to disrespect guys like that. Having gone through the shoulder up, you had to put the Savage on hold and enjoy being Allen, didn't you? Just for a little while, but how good did it feel to unleash the Savage tonight? And how did the shoulder feel in there as well? Oh, it's perfect. Listen, now, I'm Alan, you know, now I'm just taking the cream off, you know, just, just the cream and all the hard thing was done by the Savage. I had a problems in this camp also, like always, my ear got uh, swollen, inflamed and that, that effing hurts, if you know what I mean. And I fought with the ear like that, you know, it's, I still can't hear nothing, so I'm reading out to your lips. But just to say, Savage did all the hard work, you know, and Alan is now just enjoying the show. You are a breath of fresh air, a character, and your style in the ring is relentless. Do you feel that's just three of the reasons why boxing fans love you? Well, again, I can't say that because it's, it sounds hypo hypocritical, but I love when everybody says it. I, I saw the arena. They're on my side. Oh, it's, my heart is so full. I love Newcastle. I'm going to come back. I'm going to drink brown ale tonight. You know, I'm gonna, the pint, oh, how they said? Pint, pint. pint of brown ale? Pint of brown ale, oh, yeah, I'm gonna drink that. And I just feel so blessed to be here. And uh, I, I sense the synergy between the Newcastle and me since day one. And now it just proves it and just so grateful. You personalized your ring walk entrance, of course, with a message to the Geordie fans. Your last few fights have been behind closed doors. So how good did it feel, as you just say, to, to put on a show in front of the fans here tonight? Well, it's amazing. Like I said, the, the song didn't go quite well because it was too short for an entrance. I thought it's going to be a ramp, you know, a bigger entrance. So I had to stand there like, like a weirdo with everybody watching me, waiting for those words, but they'll get used to it, you know. It's my thing. What is your professional? You are going to do that. I want to involve the, uh, the fans as much as I can in my fight. That's why I did those kind of things, you know, so they can participate. You told me this week just how amazing it's been when you've had some time to reflect on the last year and, and just how much your life has changed. It's a brilliant journey that, that we're all enjoying, but you must feel it's only just getting started. Oh, it's just like I, yesterday or, or the day before I wrote a post on Facebook. I said, you know, I'm just waiting for a dream. You know, Alan is sleeping. Alan is a dreamer. And this is all a big dream because I see myself on big build, billboards and stuff and, you know, and uh, Twitter trendings and stuff. Everybody, could, and I just can't believe it, you know. I'm a simple and humble guy, so this is all just a pure blessing to me every day, every minute. And I'm going to live it until I wake up, wake up. And given your humble beginnings to this point, you, you think it's important, don't you, to give back to the people you're out running with those in your community every morning and you're hoping to inspire others along the way? Yeah, of course. And this fight just gets me closer to that. Because I want to I wanna get that, that QBS guy, Hrgovic, and match him in Croatia. That is my goal, you know, to bring so many children. I'm going to give all of my, uh, my money to the tickets for the children and stuff so they can see the real sportsmanship, you know. And I, want, I really want that, you know. And this is just one step closer to, to, to fulfill my dream, which is to involve people in boxing. I want to connect them with me. Because all of this that I feel, it's amazing. I got to share it with somebody, you know. I can't just hold it to myself. It's selfish. That's how I think. I just want to come on to talking about the future now, as we always do in these interviews. One man who has been mentioned a lot and potentially been an opponent is Nick Webb. He, of course, fought your stablemate Eric Pfeiffer last time out, but you don't think he wants to fight you? No, <laughs> nobody thinks that. Right now. We, are, we are supposed to announce that fight for the fight camp, as I know, but of course we're not going to do that because he bitched out again. You know, He's just a little bitch. I don't have no respect for him no more because he just talked. He avoided Fabio Wardley for three years, me for two years. It's getting silly. I, I, I must move on to a bigger and better guy with balls. You know. You said at the press conference that you're, you can campaign in three weight divisions, of course, cruiserweight, bridgeweight, and heavyweight. Lawrence Ocoli actually replied. Lawrence Ocoli, let's go, brother. <laughs> he, replied, uh, he replied to our post saying basically just how much he loves the energy, and you're actually the first person to ever call him out. But you just want to fight anyone, and that's certainly, that's yeah, certainly how Lawrence it is. Yeah, Lawrence Ocoli is a great guy. He's a great champion. He did so much more than I did, so don't get me wrong. I'm never going to disrespect guys like that. He's my friend, but if I want to fight, of course I do. For the title, you know, of course, who wouldn't? I mean, 
there's a lot of guys who wouldn't he's a fucking beast but i would i would i would fight him and i would fight all of the bridge of rivas who is that i will hook and stuff rivas yeah i don't, Brian even know. I don't care you're ranked don't, don't fifth. Even you're ranked fifth you're in a good don't position. even tell me i don't know what to know i thought i was 10. i don't want to know just give me name that's it I'm, I'm a fighter i'm an entertainer these guys in the in the uh, in the, in the public they don't know who these guys are they just want a good fight they don't care what 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 belt is you don't i don't care about belts i just want a good fight for the fans you know i want to bring stadiums to life you know i want to bring energy you know that's my goal so just give me whoever you want don't even tell me who he is i don't care you touched on it earlier we've got some big news dropping soon but you'd love to be a part of fight camp too wouldn't you this summer well, well i am a part of fight camp <laughs> what are you talking about <laughs> of course i'm a part of fight i'm back so i want to fight every week like before you know <laughs> my right arm is kind of doing something right now i think it's going to be okay so i'm going to be ready for fight camp as i always do alan um do you have any final messages that you would like to add i'll leave the final words to you well tonight. this 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 fight is uh, yeah i have this fight i dedicate this fight to my friend surgeon and doctor uh, Dr. Tadej Petrovic, he made a, a miracle work. For this injury, they say eight to ten months, eight to ten months, then you start training. He got me up in two. I was sparring in two months, so he's a wizard. Tadej Petrovic, Fati, Brate, without him, there is no this victory. Will Croatia beat England on Sunday? Of course, you will, brother. What are you talking about? You know that. You know that. We've already beat you <laughs> on the match. No, I'm kidding. It's too great nations you know it's both both nations i consider my home so i'm just gonna look with with excitement but of course i'm gonna cheer for creation alan a pleasure as always congratulations thank you well done.